I found something in our pasture that I can repurpose and make for Dunbar. And also, Dunbar gets his daily visitor. Who's that behind us? Cora. Cora, Cora. She's, She's like got my hair, and she eats my hair all the time. <laughs> she eats your hair. Does that mean she likes you? Yeah, she likes me all night. She's and silly. She's, she's super friendly, isn't she? She likes me because I like my chickens. She likes the chickens too. I like the gate. I <laughs> like to pet. She, she likes to eat. eat. She always wants our attention. See, she's like, give me some hay. Hey, she you wants better some give her hay some hay. Every time. Yes, yes, yes. I'll oh yeah, we'll hay. get her. We'll get her some hay. Here, Cora. Here. Here. She likes that hay. <laughs> what hay is that? You say alfalfa? Alfalfa. There you go. Getting her winter coat in. Looking pretty. Look at the dapples. Oh, Cora. What's that? Eggs. Yeah, we got a bunch of eggs. How about that? Look at all those colored eggs. Different colors, different sizes. It didn't take them long to start laying on this. This alfalfa. Now just feed her out of your hand. See, she'll eat it out of your hand. Dad, can you hold this? Sure. Can you hold this right here? Yep, gonna hold this and then this. Jackie. She's got her golden shiny clothing. Yes, she does. She's got it going on. Good job, Brooks. Not sure what language that is, but who else it is? It's Charlie. Hey, Charlie. So Marissa and I pulled something out of the pasture. I've been here since we bought the property, and uh, I thought, hey, I want to reuse this. And so then Eli and I started working on it and started welding on it. Well, I just finished it. And I want to show you guys what I'm going to do with it. Uh, we're going to use it for a bill holder. And I've seen these before. And basically, I used all scrap metal for this. Repurposed it. I didn't buy any metal. All I used is welding rods and uh, repurposed it and got it going. So this was a corner post is what this was, right? So it's a corner post that ran a fence this way and that ran a fence that way. But we build all of our corner posts out of two and seven eighths. This is a two and three eighths pipe. Have you welded on this yet? That's cool. Yeah. But this must have been an old hay ring because this was sitting in the pasture when we bought the place and it's been sitting in the pasture. We're going to make a hay bale holder out of it. It's sturdy. Look, but we got some welds to fix. All right, it's done. I took this old original frame here, just a square frame, hay bale holder, I believe. And uh, first thing I did was run two bars across here, about six foot wide. 
and then I came down here and here, here and here. So three, bell will set in the middle. Bison can reach from here and here on the end, they'll be able to get the hay. They typically like to grab it from the sides anyway. So big space, can't get stuck here. This is wide enough for them to move their head and turn it so their horns, even if they need to graze in here, but they shouldn't. There's plenty of room for them to twist and get their heads out. And so this is getting ready to go out there. So some of you are probably wondering, why did I split this in half? Well, this pen specifically right here where we have Dunbar, the two heifers I'm selling, Haas, and a couple, another heifer that we're gonna sell. The idea here is to, I built this. You can use it as a single pen, do, do that, just like a normal hay holder. But I divided it using these freestanding panels here that are awesome. You can do these kinds of things with. Got a chain you can wrap around it just for safe measure. Not that they're probably going to mess with it. But we're going to start catching our 2023 calves. Um, and that's why we're working our animals in December. But we can use our little creep gate, which I'm going to get from mom and Kevin's. It's over there. But we don't have any calves over there. And so when we start letting them in here, the calves can come get some feed. They're gonna start getting some hay and that kind of starts weaning them a little bit. And then when they all come in, you can catch them. Hopefully that's the idea, which is what we tried to do last year. So we're gonna take that creep gate from mom and Kevin's, bring it over here eventually. We'll put it up in this corner by our RV. And now you, you've got essentially one bell holder, right? And you, you can have the adults over here, which is, this group right here that's behind me, uh, Dunbar and Haas, and then you've got uh, calves that can come up here and get their roughage as well. So that's kind of the idea. All right, so you're getting a two for one deal on this situation, and you know, it's a special deal. So you get the two for one right here, and uh, here's Haas right here coming to check it out. So you can have one on this side and one on the other. I don't know. It keeps me from having to go buy a whole nother um, hay bale holder, which these things, what I just did right here, repurposing this, these are about $500 plus, and uh, that's all scrap metal. All I used is new welding rods, the welder, and the cutting torch, and that's it. So using our resources, they, even the chickens are excited about it. So, all right, time to go put it back up. Hoss.
just rolling out some hay on a cold and wet day I'm very thankful for the rain got that hay bale holder uh that we kind of manufactured ourselves and put back together awesome ideas that we've seen before got it going they've been eating hay out of it that is working well saw our princess down here hanging out thought i'd bring her her own hay get her own little special treatment like we always do this is our girl eleanor got that done well then cole and marissa and i since the dunbar herd got pulled up in the roundup you can go back and watch that with the horses and atbs uh doing all that so now that they're off of that and we're giving the um hay meta some rest it was time to go out and throw there were still some bare spots of it uh on this uh part of the pasture where uh we had pushed trees and an old fence line so we thought we'd run out there and throw out some rye and some seed to get established over the winter time because that thing is going to have a lot of rest time and animals won't get on that pasture again until sometime next year so we're going to do that right now <laughs> It's the hay meta. Oh, the hay meta. 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 Hay We're coming in hot to the hay meta. Facebook Hill. <laughs> Facebook Hill. Facebook. Meta. Meta. Oh, meta. Meta. <laughs> hey, meta. You cannot use any of this. Yes, I will. No, you will not. You will not use that. We'll yeah. use it all. Okay. Here we go, folks. On to the hay meta. Hay meta. You gonna let me in? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Great way to open it, but we'll put mostly ryegrass in here and then some oats spread out. Don't know how well the oats will do, but rye should do good on this bare ground. Marissa wants to harrow it too. Here you open the bag, babe. Bring it up here to me. Oh. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to hold this. How heavy is it gonna get? Well, not super heavy, but well, it's all pouring out on the ground. Where at? It's at the, the bottom's open. Oh, oh yeah, it is. Oh. <laughs> cool. What does Kevin call this? Feeding the chicken? Yep. Oh, I do. This is the wrong hand, though. Okay. Does it matter how fast or slow? You're going a good, good pace, son. We've got Marissa on the little spreader here, seed spreader. We've thrown out some ryegrass and some oats. Um, first time she's using it, so she's probably complaining at me. But um, anyways, we uh, we just moved the bison, the Dunbar herd out of this um, hay meadow. Hay meadow, that's what I call it, hay meadow. And uh, there's a lot of bare spots where um, back in the winter, we uh, there, was, there was woods here, I mean, there was a lot of deciduous trees here and um we came through and pushed them all down this fence was built and so when you bulldoze a bunch of that stuff it leaves a lot of bare ground and sometimes it takes a couple of years for that stuff to get going but if it's a bare surface and then we put bison on it we uh, are sp spreading some seed out to try to it's supposed to rain tomorrow that's why we're trying to do it now um and get some seed in this ground bare ground so the soil can stay intact and uh, hopefully get some root systems established here for the winter uh, because we don't plan on having any bison on this for a long time so as long as there's something growing in this dead stuff then that'd be good so where is this out seeding for us what kind of doing? grasses are you putting out huh so this is a it's a annual rye grass and then just goliath oats which is a lot of the same stuff the two uh, seeds that we used along with crimson clover and hairy vetch in pasture two for our cover crop so um it, we're out of the cover crop planting time i think uh but we're getting rain i mean it's hardcore fall and so um the cover crop time is basically out of the window but we did plant it in pasture two so she's seeding this out and hopefully it gets a hold and i did spread hay out here in some places for the bison whenever we were uh they were in here and it helps runoff we don't want runoff that's the thing you better thank jim for that thank you jim <laughs> okay we are uh, just driving back from the hay meadow and uh this is two out of our seven ponds that are completely dry this pond since we've pretty much had 
the Ponderosa is, uh, it's been one that's pretty much low all the time until we get like flash floods. But you can see here, we're standing, I mean, that's the core of it. Ran, Maya ran through the wall going. But uh, as I was here two weeks ago and it had just a little bit left. Jackie was out here playing in it. But <laughs> this is one of the problems that we've had with the lack of rain this summer. Uh, luckily, we still have some water in some of the ponds up towards the front, but this pond specifically is in the burn unit. And so we only graze this a couple times a year, and uh, but it is important because eventually we may bring some other animals back here. And, uh, you know, besides the bison, we may be integrating some other, some other animals uh, to kind of make up for what bison don't consume. Uh, another domestic animal can come through. There's a deer. Oh. Jackie just sniffed her out. Yep, sure did. Jackie! Anyways, sorry, I thought it was a dog. It's a deer. Um, but uh, we, we're tr trying to look for some alternative water sources, and obviously you can put money into uh, cleaning this out because obviously this is silt. Um, you can do that, or you could probably build a pond for cheaper, and we could use this as a silt catch pond and build another pond behind it from wherever gravity flows. Um, this could catch all the silt, which is what a bunch of it's here, and then a pond on the back side, uh, and to kind of filter it out, you could have a good pond on the back. But when you build a new pond, you're taking some uh, acreage away of, of grazing, so there's uh, different options we can look at, and then we also have the creek that runs back here that could be another alternative source of water because we want to do some rotational grazing we want to use electric fence uh, when we get the bison on the burn unit and that's all stuff that we have to do but you got to have water and so that's an important thing here but this really stinks that this is uh dry so it's like what do we do now um but you could clean it out or you could just build a new one we'll basically do whatever marissa says to do Seriously, that is not true. I was saying that because you weren't paying attention. <laughs> I was paying attention. I'm checking to see if you were paying attention. Well, you know. Well, she is the CEO. Oh she my gosh, you right. stop it. She's the, the what's it, the, what were they calling you yesterday, the boss? She's the real boss. Yeah, she's the real boss. <laughs> yep, we all know it. I mean, That's how it is. I'm not, no, okay. I'm not talking back to the yeah. boss. Okay, yep. both of you just zip it. Well, she was missing being on camera, so we're getting... Oh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> yep, but there is like hundreds of baby little frogs out here. Brooks would be having a heyday. She would be, actually. We'd have to take them all home with us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this morning, what was it, Dusty? Her, uh, she caught a caterpillar, and her buddy got eaten by ants. Oh, yeah. Oh. She's called her buddy, and she started crying. It was sad. Yeah, it was. Trying. It was cute, though. Yep. Oh.